Meals on Wheels is facing a big challenge after budget cuts forced the Macon based organization to limit the number of new people it serves this year. 41 NBC's Sean Franklin found out how the group is still finding ways to give hot meals to those in need. Meals on Wheels. A simple knock and a friendly smile. You may think that's all there is to a Meals on Wheels delivery, but for people like George Williams, it means so much. And I just thank God for you all and the Meals on Wheels volunteers for coming out to my mother's home and our other seniors' home to make sure that they have the proper food that they need. And I think it's a great reward and a great service to the city of making. However, cuts to the budget, more than $19,000 worth, have forced Meals on Wheels to change how they spend their money. But that won't stop the meals and the smiles from being delivered. What we try to do is leverage every fund, every dollar we receive to serve just one more person. In December, we've been able to bring on at least four people off our waiting list that were in dire straits, and we need to bring some more on now. Hinton told me they did have to cut one service they provided, but it won't change their main focus, which remains delivering meals. I had a chance to ride along the delivery route with Sandy Bush, who was a board member for the organization. And despite budget cuts, people like Bush are still moving meals and continuing the organization's mission. I was raised to give back. And I think those of us who have had, in my case, a career, um, have the ability and the money to live comfortably, have an obligation to find an organization, doesn't have to be Meals on Wheels, but some organization where you can contribute. In Macon, Sean Franklin, 41 NBC News. Because of the cuts, Meals on Wheels will have to lean more heavily on donations. And if you want more information on how you can give, go to our website, 41NBC.com.